Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome back. <clears throat> random videos lately, random videos. Uh, let's pretend you're a camera obsessed psycho like myself. And the only camera you saved your money up for was a Fujifilm GFX 50S Mark II with the 35 to 70 kit lens. And let's pretend for a second you decided you wanna vlog with it or make videos and you wanna see how it is. Well, this is that video because right now I'm recording on the GFX 50S Mark II, and um, I'll talk about the settings real quick. So I've got it in the Eterna film simulation. <clears throat> I've got it on autofocus, obviously, and I've got it on 1080, 24 frames a second, 8-bit. The most this camera's capable of is 1080, 30 frames a second, 8-bit. So that's it. There's no 4K, there's no 10-bit, there's no high frame rates in this. This is all it can do. It's a contrast-based only autofocus system, and it is what it is. Essentially, this is a joke, but we're gonna do a couple things. We're gonna first track the focusing, and then we're gonna go for a little walk to see if the IBIS is any good in this camera. Again, probably no value in this, but somebody's gonna wanna know if it's possible, and I'm gonna answer that question. So this is the talking headpiece. Now, let me come in and let me uh, come closer to the camera, do some focusing, and we'll see how it does. Again, no flip screen, by the way. Can't flip up, can't flip to the side, can't flip down. I have no idea what the camera's doing. I don't even know if it's in focus right now as I'm talking to you, but let's try it. So I'll come a little closer. We'll focus right here. Now this lens doesn't have crazy minimum focusing distances, so I don't know if this is gonna stay in focus or not. Let me go out of frame. And we'll come back into frame. Now this does have the front and rear tele lights that Fuji's kind of known for. So I can see that it is recording. With the cards that I have in my camera, I have two hours of recording, so I don't think there's a 30 minute record limit, but that's what you get. There is a mic input, there is a headphone input, so it's possible if 1080, 8-bit, 24 frames a second, probably manual focus is your thing, you can monitor and get behind the camera. But yeah, um, let's do our focus test. Now I'm off frame. What if I wanted to show you guys my phone? But to focus on this, check out my iPhone 13 Pro. Isn't that cool? I mean, that's amazing. Now I come back into frame. This is it. I come closer. Move back. How's the autofocus doing? Now I'm going to pick this thing up and go for a little walk with it, but I'm going to pause this to see if this was even, even presentable to you guys. So, one second. Okay, we are... Uh, now vlogging. So this lens 35 on, on medium format is like 28 equivalent, but we are now vlogging on this camera to see if it's even presentable. How's the IBIS? And oh, by the way, I just watched the footage that, hold on. I think the Amazon truck's coming. Watch this. Oh, he's turning. Oh, he's not turning. Okay. The guy taking me out. All right. So anyways, 28 millimeters is the widest this lens goes in full frame equivalent, so that's not great. Um, and I watched the previous clip and it looks like uh, it takes a long time to focus and it can't do like a product showcase type thing. But yeah, I mean, this is essentially what it looks like. This is how the IBIS operates with this lens. This is what we got. I think my neighbors are probably watching me do this right now. Just walking around a little bit. This guy, he's checking me out as I'm vlogging. But uh, I don't know, like in a pinch, could you use this? What I didn't notice, at least on the back of the camera screen, was any wobble, uh, autofocus wobble. So that's not bad. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's the GFX 50S2 for video. Any questions, comment section below. See ya.